Okay, bear with me as I try this out. This is the concept guide for 4-7 medians, altitudes, and perpendicular bisectors. A median of a triangle is a segment from a vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. Each triangle has three medians. I have th three triangles down here, an acute triangle, it's barely acute, a right triangle, and an obtuse triangle. Let me mark these the vertices, the three vertices of each triangle is there for you. And then I'll mark the midpoints of each of the triangles, I'm telling you the midpoints by showing you the congruent segments on either side. And then if I draw the median, there are the three medians of the acute triangle. Here come the three medians of the right triangle, and now the three medians of the obtuse triangle. All three medians are always inside the triangle. And if you notice there, it looks like the three medians intersect at the same point. And if I did this perfectly correctly, which I came close to doing, that's true. The three medians intersect at what's called the centroid of the triangle, which is the center of gravity. On to altitudes. An altitude of a triangle is the perpendicular segment from the vertex to the line containing the opposite side. Now these are different depending on which type of triangle that you have. For an acute triangle, we end up having three altitudes that all end up being inside the triangle. Altitudes of an acute triangle are always inside the triangle. For a right triangle, Notice something different. Two of the altitude altitudes are actually on the triangle. They are legs of the triangle, and the other is inside. So one altitude of a right triangle is inside the triangle, and the other two are legs of the triangle. The two altitudes of obtuse triangles, well, we'll have we'll have to actually we'll have to extend one of the lines in order to draw a segment that is perpendicular to one of the sides. That's why our definition says the line containing the opposite side. So you'll notice of the red one and the green one that I've drawn here, those two are outside the triangle and then finally there's one that is inside. So we end up with two altitudes that are outside the triangle and then a third that is inside. A perpendicular bisegment, a bisector let me try again. A perpendicular bisector of a segment is a line or a ray or a segment that is perpendicular to the midpoint. Of course, a ray or a segment is a part of a line. Now, we're not necessarily talking about triangles, but there's a reason why it shows up at this point in time. The diagram to the left, segment AC is a perpendicular bisect of segment XY but not the other way around. And, you'll, and you can see that because of the segments AB and BC that are congruent. Over on the right hand side we have a, an isosceles triangle and what happens here is that the median from the vertex is also an altitude and it's also a perpendicular bisector. This makes sense because if a median goes to the midpoint of the base and it's also uh, the perp it's going to be perpendicular it ends up being a perpendicular bisector now for the back of the concept guide what I would like for you to do is to try these on your own so I'd like for you to pause the video and then do these on your own, and what I'm going to do is show you my answers here in just a moment. Did you pause? Hmm? Okay, here they are. These are the three solutions to one, two, and three. You'll notice I did the median in red, the altitude in green, and then the perpendicular bisector, which it only has to be a segment. It doesn't have to be a line or go, go very far. It could actually be a ray as well in blue. Um, if you'll notice, number one, because it's marked as an isosceles triangle, the median and the altitude 
end up being the same segment. Okay, pause it at this point and do the next set of questions. Okay, here are these solutions. Check these against your work and come prepared to answer any questions that you have in class. There are several other theorems that show up here in section 4.7 that we won't use very much at this point in time, but they're going to show up some as we move on in our year talking about the distance from a line, um, talking about perpendicular bisectors being equidistant from the midpoints, and et cetera. So I, I would like for you to read the rest of this sheet and, and familiarize yourself with it, but don't expect it to show up on a quiz or a test anytime real soon.